I was very shocked and I was obviously devastated. I felt like my heart just sank to the bottom of my stomach. Cheerleading is the only thing that could get my mind off of everything else. We see so many ups and downs this season, and we see you get the news that frankly shocked the world about Jerry. How emotional, how devastating was that for you? I would say that was the by far most devastating thing that happened. It was very hard. The Jerry that I knew is the Jerry that you guys saw, and it was the, you know, the one that was lifting people up when they were down. It was the positive one that was always making you smile and laugh, and even on your worst days, you know, like him just being there and smiling. It was, like, that was the Jerry that I knew. So when I got the news, I was very shocked, and I was obviously devastated. I felt like my heart just sank to the bottom of my stomach. It was a very hard time, for sure. You talk a little bit in the episodes about how you don't feel you can turn your back on him because this was a person who was like family to you. Where do you stand on that now? And have you spoken to Jerry at all? What I said then is exactly how I feel to this day. Like my feelings will never change on that. And I stand very strongly in what I said, um, just because obviously, do I support the things that happen? Absolutely not. But I do think that he is always going to have a place in my heart that I feel will never just go away because that was like my family. And just the whole situation, I feel it's very sad. And obviously cheerleading should be a safe place for everyone. It should be, it should be a safe place. So it's more like a love the sinner, hate the sin type of situation. And I, you know, that love doesn't just go away, but I obviously do not condone yeah. anything that happened, but his case is still open. So I'm being very, you know, I'm just kind of like sitting back, hoping for like the best. What would the best be for you? The best would be for hopefully the allegations to not be true. And obviously no one's going to know that until his case is dealt with in court, so. Were you all aware that in season two, his alleged victims are interviewed and they are part of season two? No, I do not know that. And uh, uh, yeah, I did not know that, but I, my heart goes out to anybody that was affected and anyone that was in that situation. And obviously cheerleading should be a safe place for everyone. Will you watch all the episodes and, and how do you think that will feel for you to watch and to hear from them? There's pretty much a whole episode devoted to Jerry. It seems like he filmed a lot with you guys, but he's not in much. And then there's a whole episode sort of devoted to everything where his alleged victims speak out. Obviously, I haven't watched the show for myself and I you know, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to watch it because it was a very emotional time for me personally. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to react. I'm just going to really try to look at the positive things in the show because I know that there are a lot of good things in the show. And I know that it's showcasing mainly like what we do. Yeah. So I really want, I want to focus on that more so because there were a lot of really good things out of that season. Monica mentions that Jerry wrote her a letter and I just talked to Morgan and she said she's spoken to him a little bit. Have you spoken to Jerry at all? Have you guys been in touch? Yeah, I will keep, I keep in touch with him also and I write him basically the same way Monica does. I'll hear from him every once in a while. There's just talk about the safety of cheerleaders. What if anything do you think needs to change in the way that the regulations are, the way the industry is set up for cheerleaders? Or do you think things are good? I definitely do think that as a whole, like cheerleading, there are things that need to be fixed. I think that, you know, there are situations like this one that happen a lot more often than people even realize in cheerleading. And I think that overall, yes, like, we could do a much better job of keeping cheerleading safe and basically just a, bringing light to situations because I feel like there are a lot of things that happen that are not brought to light. And I think that, yes, there are things that need to be discussed. And I think there are things that need to be brought to light for sure.